Hi, and welcome back to The Conscious Day Trader. You are here to find out how you can make five figures in a month. Yes, I've made 13,000 this month. I've recovered uh, nearly, not all of it, but we're very close to recovering the loss that we had um, during my unfortunate news that my dad passed away. So we're back on track. The account is looking healthy. We are looking at balance. Current balance is sitting at 256,000. Um, I'm, I'm hedging these positions, so my current equity is at $253,000. Yes, a lot of people didn't think that I'm going to be back from that since the account went down to 244000 So I was only about 5000 uh, to blowing that account out. Um, but I did what I had to do, and I... I, you haven't seen me in a while. I haven't done lives. I really dug in. I really went back to what worked. And we're back in Bali, obviously. And I can tell you what, I have never felt better going back to what I do best, and that is trading. So what do we need to do? We need to celebrate. We need to celebrate that we're back on our normal self. We also need to put a big thumbs up into this uh, video because... If you have been following me for a while, you know I keep it real. I always show you the goods, I show you the very bads, and now we're going to go back to the build-up. And I want to give you um, some really, really a lot of value in this video. So I'm going to try and break down what I believe was the key for me to be able to go back to my successful trading to show you how I actually did it. How did I go from a 22,000 closed position, which was profit, it wasn't losses, it was profits that I didn't realize and pay, get payouts, but I used it as a buffer. So how did I blow up that buffer? How did I come back and now got the account when plus territory, which is 253,000 as uh, equity, but actually is at 56,000. I'm just closing some hedges. Hedges? Some hedged positions. First of all, as we're always gonna do, we're gonna look at the proof. There's so many people out there, oh, Yanis did this, Yanis did that. Well, this is a Fiverr's account, and this is the proof. Look at that. And happy days, balloons all around. We are back in uh, that curvy, nice level that we always are used to me seeing me doing this. Uh, and that was so unlike me. But obviously, go and watch this video of when I closed. I literally show you how I closed that trade. And... Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a good time, and that was a very hard time for trading for me in America. But look at us now. We're back into that zone, and it actually looks a little bit sharper. What's changed? I'm starting to hedge. Uh, and I'm going to do another video on hedging because it will be hours and hours and hours to try and explain to you how I not only reposition now, but I actually hedge my repositions. Yes, that sounds a bit complicated, and it is. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure it out myself. And it's working really well. I can mitigate risk when I'm in a position. When something's not going my way, I can actually deal with that trade in a, a better manner uh, by not taking too much risk when the risk is not necessary to be there. So how I've had so many messages and now we've got the Vanguard group, which is actually, I believe there's only two spots before we close it. So if you want to join the Vanguard right below Vanguard, and whoever are these two people, they're going to be the original vanguards, 70 people who secured uh, the cheapest price you're going to get on Vanguard, which is $19.99 per month. That gives you weekly calls. That gives you, uh, you get into a draw to have a one-to-one -one with me every week. Book clubs. You also get the chat rooms. And I just love that community. It's becoming my own tribe. Uh, it's helping me personally. And I think I am helping them. I think we're in good hands in terms of being surrounded by great human beings first and then traders. And that makes a huge difference. You can get into a, a community where they trade well, but if the community is negative, if the community is jumping on you every loss you've had, it's not a good community to be in and you're not going to progress. We heavily, 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 uh, there's uh, 15 videos now of uh, more than one hour, which you can go and check. 
out and you can find out about NLP work. You can find out about repositioning, hedging. I've got a hedging video in there. Way, that was my pitch done. <laughs> Let's go back to the video. Let's go back to our Fiverr's account. I've been focusing heavily on my main account. It's very healthy, but what I've been doing in the background, as you know, I've got a second account, which is my instant funding account, and that has been making half the profits. So technically, I am, and slowly as that builds and becomes uh, from uh, 20K to now, if it, when I double it, it's gonna be 40K and then 80K, that's gonna become my second income. And when it becomes big enough, I'm gonna actually trade it the same as I'm trading the fivers, which means I'm gonna be getting double the profit. If I'm making 6K or 10Ks, then I'll be making 20K. So I'm in really exciting times uh, around that. But um, let's focus on the video. What you are here for is how can I turn this big drop here into back to where I was? I can tell you what happened. I did three things. One was NLP work. I specifically, I did parts work. And this is something that I drill into every single member in the Vanguard. I, I strongly believe 90% of these unsuccessful traders don't spend time identifying what they need as an individual to become a successful trader. Yes, we all can find fair value gaps. Yes, we love ICT and what he's given us. Yes, we love other people that have given us. I was listening to Gil yesterday from the Fivers about supply demand. Pretty similar stuff. It was quite interesting to hear how he was expressing uh, uh, basically an extended candle and he was saying that here's where value is and pretty much that was a fair value gap. So we all have the knowledge technically um, we all understand it and some people are very, very good at technicals, but suddenly they're not profitable. It's because technicals is just a part of you that is necessary for you to find entries, execution, to just find an excuse to be in the markets. After those 10 seconds that you're in the market, if you're trading within minutes, if you're trading within hours, all that time is down to you identifying what you need in terms to become a successful trader, or if you, what is in the way for you to let the runners run, to close trades when you shouldn't be closing them. If you do agree with this, make sure you leave a like on this video as it helps with the algorithm, and make sure that as many people as possible can reach out and find out how we can actually be successful in trading. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, right? And I've had conversations with the Fivers, and I have conversations with uh, a lot of people, it, the percentage of success rate in prop firms is very low. But I strongly believe that we can change that. I strongly, be, I, I genuinely believe that. It's, it's not like a fairy tale. I'm not something special that I've, well, I've taken a 100K account and gone, grew it to 250, and now the next step is gonna be 275 when I hit that 12,500 in profit. So halfway there. It is not something in the fairy tales that happens or it's not like, oh, Yanis is a scammer. He's not actually, we are funded. We are making money out of the prop firm. And it's a very simple reason I am doing that. I'm not focusing only on the technicals. I'm focusing on me as a trader. I've surrounded myself by people that I wanna be surrounded by, people that believe in my success and I breathe and believe my success. I never go into the market thinking, hey, I'm not gonna be successful today. No, I'm making $500 $600 a day because I know that's the trader I am and next step is to double that. And I believe that, I strongly believe that and I put everything in place and my habits around me and everything, every single language that is being used around me is for me to be the trader that I need to be to be uh, achieving these goals. And that's what we need to do. We need, first one, we talked about, we're gonna start enlisting the what things that we need. One, we need a great community, whatever it is. You can have a, a, a free Fivers community when you join the Fivers. Uh, Anna runs the Discord in there. Go and join that, that's a great community. Um, if you are not willing to put, uh, to put some money into a community, make sure you find some friends and people that are not the people that are gonna say, oh, why did you do that? That was a bad trade. Oh my God, you've lost $200 today? What about tomorrow? How, how many of those can you take? That's not the language that's gonna get you into the 1%. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. You need to find the 99% of 
you need to avoid the 99% mentality and find what actually works. And what actually works is finding people that don't do things ordinary. You don't find people that are successful doing ordinary things. You have to become extraordinary. To become extraordinary, you have to surround yourself by people that either are extraordinary or they're achieving to be extraordinary or they believe to be extraordinary or they're believing that they will become extraordinary in the future. Now, I'll say that again. You can't be ordinary to have an extraordinary performance. You have to surround yourself by people that are achieving extraordinary things. And that is drilled into me from the Olympic times. I was surrounded by Olympic athletes. I was surrounded by people that were doing things that no one else in the world could do. And they didn't think the normal way. They didn't behave the normal way. That's what we need to do in trade. If it sounds ridiculous that you can make $200, $300,000, if you told me that, it doesn't sound ridiculous. I'll be like, right, let's plan it. Let's put it into action. Don't worry about what other people think or what others think of you. You are the person who's going to do it. Not Tom who's telling you, oh my God, how are you going to go from 30K to 200,000? You need to be that person. And you need to be surrounded by people that actually think it's, a, it's, it's normal for you to be that person because you're putting the work in and you're doing everything right for you to achieve that. So one is belief. And attach that with community. Belief and community. That's what's going to get you there. Why? Because when you have a bad day, who's going to be there to hold you? We don't need to, we don't need the, you've already had the bad day. What you need to be, jump back on that horse, learn, adapt, develop with your community and move on. That's what we're going to do. We can't, you can't fail if you don't quit. You only fail when you throw the towel in and you've quit. That's when you fail. Two, obviously we need a good strategy. If your risk management is off, you can do all the manifestation, you can do all, you surround the people, but that can help you. But if you're not having a right framework, not in general, not just jump on, I do silver bullet, that's how I trade. No, silver bullet might work for someone, but it might not work for you. You need to identify what you need um, and then use that to your advantage and don't start jumping from Yanis to Scruffy to ICT to, I don't know, uh, Elliott Waves. Stick to it, stick to it, stick to it and find out what you need to do to improve your stats through trading that system. So we talked about how we need to identify what you need. Surround yourself by a community that is supportive and is actually on the same goals that are trying to achieve the extraordinary things, not the ordinary things. If they sound ordinary, run away. Find the extraordinary. The third thing that we need to uh, really focus on is the psychology. Okay, we've talked about the strategy, we talked about the community, we talked about belief, and that is part of psychology, but there's a really, really deep side in psychology. I love, I love working with myself during or uh, uh, using NLP work. What is NLP work is neuro-linguistic programming. I'm reframing the way I'm thinking to be successful. And it's not fairy stuff. It's physical stuff. It's actually neurons firing from your subconscious mind to your conscious mind and changing behavior. The more you do that, the more behavior is aligned with who you want to be, the more you're going to be achieving in life and to what you want to do. Limiting beliefs is another area which comes with NLP and how we can achieve that. If I'm putting a limit to myself to what I can achieve, I can only achieve the limit that I've put. If I'm, if I'm limiting myself to believe that I'm going to be a $50,000 trader, guess what? I'm going to put everything into my power. All my habits are going to be surrounded by things that $50,000 traders do. What do I need to do? I need to be thinking, if I want to be $100,000, what can I put in place to be able to achieve that? What does he do? Does he read more books? Do I go to the gym more? Do I have a trading system that I follow um, regardless of what's happening in the market? Do I have people that are already trading $100,000? Am I speaking that language? Suddenly the subconscious mind is tricked 
into believing that you are already that $100,000 trader because you're doing the habits, you're doing the movements, you're doing the, the work, the NLP work that is going to get you to not, to not to become, but that reality is going to become available because the subconscious mind is being tricked to um, seeing the reality that you're currently in. And that is the successful trader and consistent trader that you're going to be. Now, a lot of people don't know about NLP and how it works. And I understand that. I understand how someone will be like, how can I, how can I change my reality through thoughts and my habits and behaviors? I understand why you're not understanding that because it takes a lot of work and a lot of time to, and a lot of practice to bring a new reality to our subconscious mind. If I told you today that every elephant on the earth is red, your subconscious mind knows that the elephant is not red. So it's impossible for the subconscious mind to have that reality. If I told you that you're, all your life you've been failing some challenges and all your life you haven't had more than thirty to $35,000 years of income, your subconscious mind has identified with that reality. So what do we need to do? We need to start changing that. We need to start bringing a new reality to the subconscious mind. Suddenly, if you're starting, if you're starting to make more than two hundred dollars, let's say three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars a day, your subconscious mind can suddenly relate that to. Wait, wait a minute. If I'm making four hundred to five hundred dollars, suddenly that's going to be a lot more than a hundred thousand in a year. So if I can do that consistently in a safe manner with risk management and all the stuff we've talked about. Now the subconscious mind doesn't even have to put itself in a new reality. It sees the reality. It already exists. And that's the key with, um, with this work, with the mind-body practice, is we need to lead, one, with belief that we can do it. We need to lead with our conscious mind, putting the conscious effort to trick the subconscious mind to become the reality that we want it to be. That's how I made it. That's how I'm past 12 milestones. I can't remember now. It's three milestones on the 100K. And then I did from 100, um, 125, 150, 175, 200, and now 250. And we're getting on to that. I am going to be a 4 million trader uh, account on Fiverr. I'm looking forward to it. I can already see it. I know how I'm going to behaving, be behaving. I know the interviews that are coming from Saul and everyone else. I know that is happening. It's just a matter of time. I don't question it. That reality exists for me. It's happening. I just need to wait for that reality because it's already there. I'm just going to achieve it and it's down the line. I don't question it. What happens when I say that? My whole body breathes and behaves like the trader I'm going to be when that reality comes to me. Because it's not like if it happens, when it, or how is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? No, it is happening. It's already happened. It's just an amount of time that I need to wait for it to come to me. Every single achievement in, in terms of trading and life, I've always had that mentality. And I've had it after I met my wife, to be honest. Before that, I would be very safe on money. Everything I made, I would save it in a little bucket of, uh, uh, in my room and say, okay, I've made 1000 now. Wow, let's save that, make it 2000 And then I'm, hopefully I can pay my rent and go out and uh, get a drink to my friends or something. My mentality has completely changed now. Money is energy. The money, money that is coming in, it can be expended because more money is going to be coming in. And that's the mentality that I have. That's the mentality that is getting me to where I need to be. Now, I know a lot of, a lot of you will be expecting this video to be a lot about technicals. And it needs to be. But in reality, the most important thing is if you don't believe you can make 100 to 200 and 300 and 400 and a million, you're never going to make it. It's not just going to happen overnight. That's the, that's the sad truth. You're trying to compete against the 1% of the world. Do you know how hard that is? It's like winning a, an Olympic gold medal. You can't be thinking the same as Tony, Tom, all the traders that you see in these chat rooms. And they're saying, oh my God, he's ludicrous. What is he doing with his trading? If someone is doing something abnormal and is seeing success, keep, a, keep an eye on him because he's probably doing something that 
99% of the traders are not doing. So there you go. If you're under rain currently, we need to change something. And what do you need to change? We have to change your mind. That's where we all start. So we've talked a lot about what you need to be successful to make the 1% in trading. Now, a lot of you that are going to be watching this are not going to do the work. They're not going to do what is required. And it's hard. It's not easy. Like we said, you need to do something extraordinary. Doing something extraordinary is doing something that no one else is going to do. Not a lot of people are going to do NLP work. Not a lot of people are going to put themselves out there to do parts work or all these new things that they can help you become a better trader. How do you find out about these things? Obviously that you can buy books on NLP. You can also go on YouTube and find out about NLP and how it affects our mind and our body and how we can create realities out of nothing. Because this is, this is the stuff not, not everyone, a lot of people are going to do. And you need to do something that not everyone does. Obviously, I started the Vanguard membership in, with that in mind. What about if I could affect 70 to 150 people, give them a better life through what I've been able to do and improve the percentage of one success rate, 1% success rate? Can I do that? That's a challenge to me. I do, I do think that I'm in a good place and I do think I've put foundations down to help people succeed. There are people out there where they say, why are you even doing this? Just you're trading, you're making 13K. Uh, why put the effort in this? Guys, trading is a very lonely place and the most rewarding thing that you can do is do what you love, be in a community that they they value you for what you're doing. I don't want the people that don't value what I'm giving to, to them. So obviously I'm gonna attract people that wanna be around me. And the good thing about this, being honest and being out there, you normally attract the people that you need to bring into your life. And these, the people that are attracted to you and what you're doing, they're normally the people that are gonna be succeeding because they are coming with an open mind, they're coming willing to do the work, they're on the same pathway of being, uh, trying to do extraordinary things like you are doing. And that's the aim, is to have a higher win, beat the success rate of the floor. And that is 1%. I am sure we can do a lot better than that. And you're gonna see, I am gonna start a, a podcast with the success stories of the people from the Vanguard memberships and other people that are, had success stories uh, around trading mindset. And you that you're watching now, might be the next one. So if you do want to join us, make sure you write Vanguard below. Um, now, there's only two spots. After those two spots are filled, what's going to happen? I'm going to plan for phase two. Phase two is going to be 80 people, and that's going to complete the Vanguard membership at 150 people, and that's it. Then it's going to be one in, one out. And hopefully the one outs that are going to be going out is they're going because they're succeeding and they're doing their own great things. Uh, that's the aim. So if you do want to secure that place, um, uh, make right Vanguard. If the, when these two spots are filled, what's going to happen? You're going to go into the list uh, for the next one, uh, which is going to be the last 80 spots uh, before we can secure and uh, close our Vanguard community. And I'm super excited to be involved in that. And I know great things are coming. Until next one, guys, it's been The Conscious Day Trader. Make sure you like this video or even put some hearts in the video, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Winning. Winning. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs.